Hello everybody, I'm Dr. Imran Aziz. And in first part of this video, I have shown you how to measure the axial ratio of any antenna. So here, this plot which you see, I have measured this plot by using a simple horn antenna. So on the one end, I was having a horn antenna and uh, on I was connecting this horn antenna with the signal generator. Uh, and then on the other side, I was having the antenna under test. Uh, this antenna was a circular polarized antenna. And this antenna I was connected, uh, I, I was connecting it with uh, network, uh, sorry, with the spectrum analyzer. And uh, then I was, uh, you can see the complete setup in part one of this video. Then I was rotating this horn antenna around its own axis and measuring the received level for uh, every rotation. So for all these different rotations, which you see over here, for all these different angles, so these are the angles uh, starting from like 180 degrees and coming back to 180 degrees. So for all these different angles, I measured the power received at the spectrum analyzer and plotted it over here. So this is the rotation of this horn antenna. And here you can see that the power levels and this horn antenna was a linear polarized antenna and the antenna under test was a circular polarized antenna. And you can see that the power levels received for different uh, orientations of this antenna, for different rotations of this antenna are almost similar. Uh, they are in the range of like uh, 31, 32 dBm. And if I plot uh, this same curve uh, in the normalized fashion, so this plot looks like this. So here you can see that the maximum value I have uh, over here is 1.5 dB, uh, which means that uh, this pattern is a little bit elliptical in this direction. This is the major axis and this is the minor axis. And the ratio of this major axis and minor axis is called the axial ratio. And here this plot shows that the value of axial ratio is 1.5. As you can see here, the peak value is 1.5 dB. So in this case, axial ratio is 1.5 dB. So this is how the measurement uh, looks like. And because this is the axial ratio at one specific frequency, like uh, this measurement was at 28 gigahertz, so you might have seen different uh, plots like this one, which I'm showing right here. So this red curve, it shows the axial ratio for different frequencies. So I am very, I'm measuring only at uh, 28 gigahertz. So this is not the plot of my measurement. I have just uh, copied it from the internet. So this value does not belong to the measurement which I have made. Uh, this is just to show you that how this plot looks like and how we can measure this plot. So this plot is measured for different frequencies. The same horn antenna is rotated uh, around its own axis in 360 degrees. And the measurements are made for every different angle. And then for different frequencies, uh, the uh, this axial ratio, which we have shown in the last slide, that axial ratio is plotted over here and this curve comes uh, from this measurement. So I hope you have got the point that how we can uh, measure the axial ratio of any antenna, not only circular polarized antenna, but any antenna. And uh, here I have shown you that how we can plot the axial ratio uh, over a range of frequencies.